What is going on, everybody? It's your favorite Dan guy. Do it with Dan, and we're back at it again in my garage. I'm really doing my best to capitalize on having the new garage set up. You know, if you wanna see us rebuild this entire garage, links in the description for that series. It's really cool, it's worth a check out. But before we talk about this, I gotta get something off my chest, right? I've been thinking about this. Kevin McAllister could have called the cops at any time, right? When Harry and Marv were breaking into his home in Home Alone 1, he could have called the police at any time. He chose to torture those two men by running them through as many traps as he could have. And let me be honest with you, man. I'm not a Geneva Convention type of guy, but booby traps are illegal. Kevin McAllister is a psychopath. At any moment in time, he could have called the cops and been like, hey, there's fucking people breaking into my home. And they would have come and probably shot him instead. Maybe it makes sense why he didn't call the cops. I don't know. But anyway, we're here to reveal my new motorcycle. As you guys know, in the previous video, I just sold the Zero. I, really, I rather traded it. I, I did a trade, a direct trade for this thing. And I think you guys will think that I came out on top. I'm not gonna do this crazy YouTuber thing where I make you wait, we're about to peel it off. But I wanna say that I think that this is possibly, excluding the Magna, my favorite motorcycle I've had on the channel. And uh, I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm already in love with it. I didn't think that I was gonna fall this hard for this motorcycle, but again, I did so much research on this bike. I watched review after review. I just couldn't be more happy with it. So without further ado, I wanna introduce you to my 2022 CV1000R Black Edition. I'm back on a 1000, boys. And I'm back on a Honda. I mean, I guess I still have the Magna, but I just couldn't be more happy, to be honest with you guys. I've kind of come across this new found love for upright naked bikes. You know, I said this bike was unlike any other bike I've had on the channel, but also similar in certain ways, right? It's a 1000, I've had 1000s before. It's a naked bike, I've had a naked bike before. It's a CBR technically, it's got a CBR 1000 motor in it, albeit I think the previous generation. So it checks a lot of boxes of bikes that I've had in the past but it's also a completely different type of motorcycle than I've really ever had before. I've never had a 1000 in an upright naked platform. It's just the tits, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's crazy fast and we're about to hop on it and go for our first ride. So stick around for that, we got a lot going on here. But I'll talk about it real quick with you guys before we do that, all right, how about that? First of all, single-sided swing arm, really like this. I think this looks really cool, like it a lot. Kaufman exhaust, really like this. I am, however, gonna put my own custom Do It With Dan Edition Kaufman exhaust. If you guys don't know, I have my own Kaufman exhaust, which you can buy for any motorcycle, like it doesn't matter, you, they laser engrave it. So um, we're working on making that a little bit easier for you guys to order. Right now, currently, you have to contact them and email them or call them and be like, I want the Do With Dan Edition, which makes it a little bit harder, but we're working on getting on the website to where it's easier. And outside of that, it's, I'm pretty sure it's stock. I don't think there's really anything else. I mean, it still has these reflectors. I'm gonna take those off. I believe these are factory mirrors, maybe. I can't really tell, they're dog shit. I mean, it still has the stock fender on the rear here, which I don't hate. You know, I'll figure out a cool way to replace this. I'll be the first to tell you guys. This bike is truly insane, especially for what it is. So let's go ahead and do our first ride. Let's go ahead and hop onto it. Oh, righty then, everybody. This is the new whip. This is my new, it's relatively, I mean, it's new to me. It's a 2022 CB1000R. I'm back on a freaking leader bike, dude. This is really crazy to me because I have not been excited about a motorcycle in a while. I mean, like I enjoyed the Zero when I had it. And you know, obviously every bike that I've owned, I'm like, oh, it's a good bike or whatever. But I am both excited and terrified to ride this bike. And uh, we're going to, this is my first ride. I haven't done a test ride on it. And we'll go over it real quick. Let's, we'll, I, I assume that I've already done the whole sit down and talk about what the bike's got on it, like the uh, the Kaufman system. And I hate to tell you this, I haven't even heard what this, sound, but this bike sounds like started up. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna do that. Ooh, it's a neutral. Oh shit. It's got a Kaufman on it, which you guys know that I like. I even have my own custom Kaufman edition exhaust that I will probably have to get for this thing. And if I know anything about a Kaufman, it is loud as shit, and it sounds good. It do be sounding good, though. All right, we got music, we got bike, I've got it insured. Everybody's probably wondering how much did this thing cost to insure. It's got to be fortune, right? It's a thousand, and the answer is fucking no. It cost me one dollar more uh, on my entire policy than the Zero did, which is crazy considering how much more of a problem this bike is going to be. Oh, 
Oh shit. Is this what a 1,000 feels like again? Oh my god. Oh, it's got a quick shift. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, wee wah! It's got a quick shifter on this bitch. Holy shit. You know what? I do remember someone telling me that this bike had a quick shifter. Pretty stable on the bars. I feel good about that. Oh, man. Should probably adjust the mirrors. They can't see. What are these mirrors? You can't see fucking shit out of these mirrors. We're going to have to do some some different mirrors. Dude. On a 1000 again? That's nuts. I've wanted a 1000 for so. I told you guys that when I sell the Jixer, I was going to get me on a 1K. I, I needed it. Like I needed a fucking bolt in the head, right? It's got good brakes. Damn. Good, very, very sensitive, very touchy brakes. It does have ABS. We've got half of a tank. I should get us home. Man, I tell you what, I'm fucking exhausted after today, too. I've done nothing but ride all day today. I rode the Zero to WoW, just to give you an idea, not that you guys care. I rode the WoW, or, <laughs> I rode the Zero to WoW, dropped that off. I also did a uh, a review on a motorcycle that they are, a scooter. I did a review on the scooter, which, you know, that's fun. I had a really good time doing it, but that was exhausting. And then uh, now I'm riding home after, like seriously, after probably like six hours of riding today on my, uh, on my new CB1000, dude. God dang, dude, this thing trucks. It pulls like a motherfucker. See, the Zero pulled really fast until about 60. This thing, you can tell it's got nothing but fuel in the tank, bro. It's got nothing but piss in the tank. And that quick shifter is so nice. Wow. It's a little tall. It's a little tall. I don't quite... I can only flat foot one side. I tippy toe one and flat foot the other. It's, but that's fine. That's how the Zero was. Damn. That sounds good, dude. That sounds good. We got different modes. It wants to. It, oh my god! That thing is fucking sensitive, bro! Taking care of these guys. Shit! Good! Google it, moogle it! That thing fucking is insane! So, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I've done a lot of research on this bike. We're, we're gonna get into this. I haven't researched the bike quite like I have this bike. Uh, you know, like, I think the closest bike that I put this much time into was the H2. And that was just more being like, oh, tell me about what an H2 is like. I want to know what it's like, daddy. Versus like, I researched this bike before I, I, before I went with it, right? I was like, uh, let me learn, because it, it was between this and a Ducati Scrambler. And I was really leaning towards the Ducati Scrambler until I sat on it, man. It's heavy and it doesn't make that much power. But son of a bitch, dude, this feels great. Good rear brakes, good front brakes. I'm gonna be careful, dude. That front brake is really sensey. Barely applying any. But I like this dashboard, dude. Look at this freaking nice display. No analog gauges. I like that a lot. And we got different modes, standard, rain, user, whatever the fuck that means. Sport. And it's something that I missed with the 600. I like the 600, you just had to really like ring that motherfucker out to get it to go. But with this, it's just kind of like effortlessly. You see how I nailed that? I'm no longer on the gay bike. All right, where's neutral right there? Damn, dude. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked to be on a 1K again. That bicycle is still there too. Power, EB, I don't know what EB is, and T, traction. So you got power, traction, I don't know what EB is. We'll figure that out. And you know what? It's still The bike still has its coffin. Uh, that's probably, it's not crazy loud. I was really worried that that, that Kaufman exhaust was going to be a fucking brutal. Oh my god! Whoa, buddy! Whoa, brother! That is in the pants. That is something else, dude. Is this what I've been missing out on? Is this what I've been missing out on at 1000? That, dude, that quick shifter is insane. It's been since the H2 that I've ridden with a quick shifter. Oh, dude, what do we got going on here? Like a funeral brigade for trash? 
gotta tell you, I said that this bike was a lot, uh, was unlike any other bike I've ever owned because, I mean, it's an upright naked bike and the Zero was technically an upright naked bike, but not like this, dude. Oh, I'm doing 90, holy shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow, brother. Wow, wow, wee, wow. We redline at 12K. Starts to redline at 12K. Pretty good for a 1000. All the uh, the research that I've done about this bike shows that this is a previous generation CBR 1000 motor. So probably the generation after my old Fireblade, my old 1000, and it feels great, man. It looks cool too. Like it's got a the engine's got a good look to it. Man, I'm I'm very happy about this so far mirrors need to go need to change those some aftermarket levers you know we'll go through the whole build we'll do a build you know small stuff here and there i like that quick shift holy shit dude that does not get old listen to that dude it's so flawless so effortless oh i love it very stable bars i was worried about that that's always my my big fear with naked upright bikes is that the bars are going to be unstable something about handlebars versus clip-ons i like that I, I think that feels good you know a lot of trucks carrying around garbage am i right and i'm going to be honest one of the things that kind of swayed me towards another naked upright versus like uh, a full tilt fairing sport bike was the riding position i like the upright riding position it, it does wonders for my back. I, I hate to use this as an excuse, but like with the MS stuff, man, I get beat up. I get worn out pretty quick. And uh, sitting in an upright position versus like being hunched over is, is obviously got its benefits, right? I don't think I have to explain that to you guys. I think you probably understand that. But that's, that's kind of one of the reasons why I lean towards an upright sport bike. Man, this thing fucking moves. It doesn't like being in low rev range though. I can tell that already. It, it, it being in low, it's very uh, down low. It's also not quite as stabby mid-range as like a full tilt 1K feels, like a full fairing bike. And that's probably for a lot of reasons. I'm sure on the highway, I'm gonna get beat the fuck up. Thankfully, I don't do a whole lot of highway riding. I do a lot of around town and back road riding. That's mostly what I do. And it's certainly leisure. I don't do a whole lot of commuting. But this thing was only a dollar more on my entire policy to insure than the Zero was. I gotta say, that's, I'll take that bet. You reckon you take that bet? I'll take that bet. Woo! Man! This thing's got beans, bro. This thing's got beans to it. The one of the things, believe it or not, I never tagged the Zero because it goes by state value in the state of Georgia, right? So, uh, state value is, we have this thing called Avalorum tax. So the state's like, hey, your vehicle is worth this amount of money and you're gonna tax you 7% on top of that. Uh, rebuilt titles are 1%, I believe, but full sale motorcycles and cars are 7%. So when I go to register this, I will have to pay 7% of the value in registration. So whatever, Whatever the state values this bike at, probably somewhere between eight to 10K. I think they go for about 12K new, so, and I'll have to pay 7% of that. So if they if they say it's worth 10 grand, this bitch is gonna cost $700 to register. And I'm not looking forward to that. Just out of curiosity, if I do like a little, just a little clutch. Yep, it does that. All right, we're, we're ooh, that was, that, that made my plums go into my belly. And remember guys, I said I wouldn't do wheelies anymore, so we're not gonna do that. God damn, I racked my nuts so hard right there. This is the fucking hype. This is the return of Do It With Goddamn Dan. All right, you understand that? This is the return of the return of Do It With Dildo. We are fucking back, boys. We are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. That's a lot of shit on that truck. This is where my roots come from. Not necessarily a CB1000, but a Honda. That's what I started riding on. That's what the mag mag is a Honda. This is where my love of motorcycles comes from. Is from a Honda. Like out of all the motorcycles, Hondas are the most reliable. I, in my personal opinion, from my experience, this bike could change my mind. Man, getting it slipping into neutral is so easy. In the first. Slow as fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, that power comes on so fucking crazy, dude. 
it builds power like a turbo. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. Holy shit. I'd love to tell you I got some sort of crazy build in mind for this thing. I don't. I don't have no plans other than to change some small things. I'll probably change the mirrors. Uh, there's some there's some stuff that needs to be cleaned up. You know, they're like this. These tank protectors are nice, but they're a little sloppily in, installed. And the, the pinstripes kind of meh. You know, I, I'll, I'll probably wrap it. Have my good buddy John over at Infinite Wraps, best in Georgia, no doubt. Have him do some cool design on it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna match something with the Corvette, just slightly different. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No spoilers. Every time I make plans, things change. So I am just gonna fucking, I'm just gonna enjoy the bike, dude. I'm gonna enjoy the bike for a little while. If I do stuff, I do stuff. And when I say I did research on this bike, I mean it, dude. I watched review after review after review. There's only a handful of people that I really trust their opinions on motorcycles. I watched Chase on Two Wheels review of this bike, and he was kind of the tipping factor. I watched his review of the Ducati, and I watched his review of the CB, and I landed on this bad motherfucker. I'm stoked, dude. I'm, I'm grinning from ear to ear right now. I hadn't been this excited about a motorcycle in a very long time. I'm starting to get a headache. I'm dehydrated. I've been in the sun all fucking day, in the heat all fucking day. Ugh. I'm excited to get home, get drank, get water. Those are good, those are good brakes. We'll hit the brakes real quick. Yeah, those are good brakes. Yeah, I, I'm so used to cracking the throttle to downshift, and you don't gotta. You don't gotta, it does it on its own. Neutral, slips into neutral, baby. What am I doing with this thing, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, this thing is so fun. And traditionally speaking, man, I, I've never been physically attracted to upright nakeds, you know? Just, just like, I've always thought that traditional fairing sport bikes look better. I, I kind of, I agree with that still, but like this bike fucks, bro. That single-sided swing arm, then this is the black edition. I don't know if it makes more power or if it's just a special, like, dark version of the bike, however that works. <laughs> Alrighty, dude. That gets up and goes like nobody's business. Dude, that power comes on so aggressively. And like, it's like, oh, you want, you want to, are you sure? All right, bitch. Ugh. Wow. Very surprised. All the way around, very surprised. I like it. I like it a lot, dude. I fucking... Wow. Like I said, it's got some small here's and there's. I don't think the person who had it before probably, like, cared for it the same way I'm going to care for it, you know? But, I mean, it's in great condition. It's got some, like, you know, like, I don't understand what's going on here with this tank pad here. And, you know, like, some aftermarket levers would really change the way this bike rides. But I like it. The single-sided swing arm is so fucking bananas. Banana. You know, we'll do a fender eliminator. I'm sure. You know, we'll get rid of that. We'll put it. We'll tuck it up underneath the. We'll tuck it up underneath the seat somehow. Make it look really good. But, brother, I am. I am just so happy. We are fucking back. We are so fucking back, dude. This thing is so cool looking. Look how cool that thing looks. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna end it here. You guys got to see the first ride of it. It's my first honest reaction. Haven't ridden it or even, I didn't even turn the bike on. I was like, I want that bike. Let me know what you guys want to see with the CB1000. Uh, we got to we gotta come up with a name for it. We got to come up with a cool name for it. You know, the Jixer was Valkyrie. We got the Mag Magna, you know. <clears throat> the Magna. Now we got two Japanese piss missiles. Again, thank you to WoW. They have always done a great job of getting me amazing motorcycles. I have never had a motorcycle that I didn't like from WoW. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys.